Hello, Carson here, host of the Totally True Tales podcast. I just wanted to give a quick editor's note before this first episode. We recorded our first two episodes back to back, and to tell you the truth, I guess I didn't have the audio settings dialed in quite right. I did my best to save the recordings, and I think I did well enough to keep everything understandable. Future recordings will be more evenly mixed, and should hopefully sound a bit better. I appreciate you sticking with us as we figure this whole podcast thing out. I really think we have something special here, and I hope you'll enjoy our tales of adventure and misadventure. Thank you, and enjoy. And so, like, that's how me and the Lock Monster became best friends. Like, he's a, he was in the way. It was dope. Anyway, uh, welcome to Totally True Tales to Tell Together, the improv storytelling podcast where anything is possible and our, the only limit is our imagination. Uh, I am your host, Carson, along with my co-hosts, Sarah and Alex. Say hello. Good. Hello. And uh, today, uh, since this is the first episode, I will be the one, sort of my idea, so I'll be the one picking from the hat. And uh, the story I'm going to tell you all today is, uh, did I ever tell you the time I joined the circus? No, thank you. This is a good one. So, uh... We gotta go back, like, God, it's been like 10 years at this point. Yeah, probably 9 or 10 years. Um, when you were 12? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they, they start you young. Just check it. They start you, they start you young. Um, I had, uh, I was taking a trip with my family. We were, uh, we were going out to, uh, we were in Ohio, actually. We were uh, visiting some family out there, and... Uh, we were just uh, hanging around the city for a little bit, walking around, seeing some shops, and I saw an ad for the circus. And I was like, can we go, can we go, can we go? And my parents were like, no, we don't have time. We don't have time to go to the circus. So uh, we went back to the hotel room that night, and, uh, well, that's not the thing. I wasn't, gonna, I wasn't taking no for an answer. I snuck away. And... Uh, I had no idea where to go. I got horribly lost on the street that night. I'm, I'm becoming concerned you didn't actually come to the circus. You ended up I'm getting a bunch there. Of, a bunch of bums. No, 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 no. I'm Ohio. getting there. I'm getting there. And just like the people of Ohio <laughs> do look like <laughs> So, uh... That's right, Ohio. I'm starting with Nintendo with in episode one. Let's go. So I'm, I'm wandering the streets at, like, 3 a.m. It's cold, right? It's, like, springtime, so it's not, like, rigid, but it's pretty cold. And, uh... I come across a, it's like a drugstore, basically, like, well, it's well, like that. They're still open, like, 24-hour thing. I go in there just because I'm, like, scared at this point. I'm young. I'm scared. I'm, I don't know where I am. Uh, I try to find someone, I guess, the only person working in there, I don't know, like, in the back or something, so, like, there's no one working there. But I do see a couple of guys just in one of the aisles. And uh, so I went up to them and was like, can you, can you help me? Like, I need to get back. And uh, they were super helpful, but uh, as they were kind of leaving, like, they called the police to, like, come get me. And, uh, but as they were leaving, I noticed that their car was super small. I was like, that's the drugstore employee's car was super small? No, the two guys that were just, like, in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah. makes more sense. Um, Sorry. So I was, like, I was curious. I kind of looked. Because it didn't even look like... These were two pretty big guys. But uh, it didn't even look like they were going to fit. You know, would you say this car was perhaps Volkswagen bug shaped? It was... And perhaps multicolored? It was just green. It was okay. just green. But the way they fit in there was incredible. So I went up to the window. I was like... What is going on here? How did you... And so they said that they were with the circus. And so before the cops got there, I just kind of was like, take me with you. And they did. Which was an awful idea, mind you. That was like... I'm glad you said it. Because that was, yeah. was going to be my question. But okay. Yeah, so I was, I was like on the lam for a bit. And like missing child kind of thing. Uh, this was like not a sanctioned circus either 
This was super, super whoa. sketchy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is a sanctioned circus? All circuses are sketchy. That's why they're circuses. No, like, you've got, like, Ringling Brothers and okay. stuff like that. Like, that's, like, above bar. That's high class. This was, like, like, you see in movies <clears throat> where it's, like, they pack up and leave as soon as they're done with the show. Like, it's... Like, they're running away out of town because they clearly committed a crime. Yeah. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I've read a yeah, so, like, they take me to where all the trailers are and stuff. They've got some live animals. They've got, um, and they, <coughs> give, me, they give me a place to sleep for the night. And uh, in the morning, I wake up that first morning, and I didn't realize at the time when I went to sleep, but there are, like, four other people in this trailer with me. That was kind of weird. But one of them was a trapeze artist, and uh, I kind of took a liking to him. He was pretty his name was Tim, and Tim was really good. Like, we're talking like you, you see those guys who are up there and they like put a chair on the high wire and they're like sitting on the chair. So it was like a high wire trap. So like, did you swing uh, around I back and forth? High, high okay. Wire. Yeah, so I, 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 I had trap. You can do both. I mean, I just was curious. If you was like, no, the trapeze to high wire. The actual, the actual, the actual trapeze artists were incredible too. But they were like, they were. Real short little guys and gals. They were like four foot long. Which helps, because like, you gotta be light. True, but it seems like it would make it hard to like, reach the other bar when you go flipping because your arms are so short. Was there a lot of accidents at this circuit? No, they were surprisingly as sketchy as it was, they were really good at what they did. Okay, so very sketchy, but high safety requirements. Got it. I mean, just they didn't mess up. Gotcha. Fair and, and I suppose you couldn't. It wasn't really in much of a net, so you kind of had to. Um, but so I started uh, apprenticing with the, uh, Tim up on the highway, and uh, it's surprisingly not as difficult just walking on a highway as it would seem. Like once you like just starting out, you've got that big bar, right? That does most of the balancing for you. And you know, you start when you're first learning. You start like just off the ground. You're like two feet off the ground. And, you get that and you start just moving up and up. It was probably four or five weeks and I was like ready to go on the highest bit there. They weren't putting me in the show yet, but I was I was getting good at it. And uh, I, at that point we've traveled around quite a bit. And how long has it been at this point? Uh, it was five, six weeks. And at any point did you contact your parents? Listen. <laughs> Listen, okay, I was as good as gone at that point. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Let abandon your parents do circus kid. Well, I, I assume they think that I was kidnapped, which I suppose I kind of was. I mean, don't think you can kidnap yourself. Yeah, but like. At worst, circus nap, perhaps. Yeah, circus nap. Yeah. Well, well that's a new word. <laughs> um, but we. We're in Arizona at this time, and the ringmaster, who I hadn't really had too much contact with, he kind of ran the whole enterprise. Um, but <laughs> at this point, I hadn't really gotten to know him all that well. But he comes into our trailer after one show, and he just kind of points at me and says that, like, you're off. Next, next show, that it's your turn. Now I'm like shaking. I have a question. Yeah? Does he look like Hugh Jackman? No. No. So you, you, so you wouldn't <laughs> say he was perhaps the greatest showman? No. Like the mediocrest showman, maybe? He was. He was a kind of short, roundish kind of fellow. And he was probably in his 60s. He was older. No, his name wasn't short round, was it? This is not a short round like he did after Indiana Jones, right? I was hoping you found him. I've been looking for him. But, uh, but so I'm nervous. And, like, that whole night leading up to the next show, like, I didn't get a second of sleep. Um, that was, like, I kind of paced around for an hour just outside, and then I would try to lay down, and that just didn't work. So I would go hang out with the Tigers. Um, they were my best friends at that point, that whole show. I didn't really... 
there were a lot of weird people at that circus. I wasn't really trying to get to know too many of them. Um, but so the day comes, and like, I'm getting all in like full costume, full makeup, and you know, they do their whole routine. They do, like, they would do parade the animals around, the lion tamer would go out, do that whole thing. And, uh, what they would normally do is they'd normally have the trapeze artist sort of going below where the wire is, and that would be sort of a tandem. Like, I, or the Tim would be going across the wire while they were doing their whole thing, so they kind of combined all that into one. But they decided for this one that they were going to break it up a little. I would just be going alone, which I thought was weird. Well, at this point, I have no idea. At this point, I have no clue what they're doing. They're like, this, this kid has, has tagged along for too long. Yeah, I mean, like, and uh, I didn't really think too much of it at the time, but like looking back on it, it was kind of sketchy. <laughs> but, um, but like, I think kind of. I feel like... <laughs> It just is. It just is sketchy. Well, it's all relative. Uh, <laughs> it's all relative. But, so they, they get through the first part of that show there. And the trapeze artists, like, end up going before when I go on. So they do their whole thing. And uh, then the ringmaster guy comes back in. And sort of, like, spotlight on him. And he's saying... And, like, I'm only getting part of this because I'm still super nervous, but something along the lines of, like, brand new attraction, uh, Wonder Kid, something like that, and then, boom, spotlight on me, I'm, like, 50 feet up in the air on one end of the wire there, and turns out, like, I guess I was going to be, like, their starring attraction now, like, youngest state road walker or whatever, I don't know, like, so this was sort of like debut of their newest big thing. Um, so that was, you know, I'm already nervous and now it's just the pressure's all on me. And, uh, but I end up, I, I get through the first bit of the act where it's basically just me walking once, twice across the wire. And then it was going to be myself and Tim, the other Tyrock Walker, we're going to do an act together where he would do the whole, he was on, you know, the chair on one leg in the middle, and then what I was going to do is I was going to walk across and then, like, go over him and across. And of course. Um, so he gets out there, he's doing his thing, and then I start stepping out, and I get halfway to him, and my legs are, like, giving out. I guess I had never gone this long for an act, so I didn't really know how much strength it required. So my legs are given out, and I can't, like, go back. It's, like, at this point, it's either I go back or, like, go to him and figure it out. So I just kind of kept going. And part of it was, like, trying not to let everyone down. Now, you're sure it was that you, your legs got tired and not that Tim was attempting to poison you and make you not take his job? I'm pretty sure that. Okay, was. fair enough. His name's Tim. It was concerning. Uh, so I, I managed to like get my way out to him, but by that point, there's no way I'm going over him and to the other side. So now I'm kind of stuck, and now we're both kind of stuck. Mm-hmm. Um, so I like tried to get on top and fall over, but like it starts to wobble a bit, and I'm getting like I'm just stepping over and I get like one foot back on the wire and I just lose my balance for a second and we both start to kind of fall. Luckily, you know, the, like the first thing you learn once you get just up off the ground is like how to grab on to the wire. With your hands. Right. And to like keep yourself safe like that. But none of that is like going through my head at this point. I'm like I have no idea what to do. I'm like flailing. Everything is just blanked in my head. So I kind of start to fall. And I'm going like head first at this point. And all of a sudden, I kind of jerk to a stop. Tim has managed to grab on and like 
reach down and grab onto my like just like the pant leg though. Mm. Like it's still pretty precarious. And so this is like like you've seen out of uh what's that short thing where he's like Cliffhanger? Cliffhanger, that's the one. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I wonder about hanging off of things? I promise. I actually have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I promise. I, I'm here, so uh, it doesn't end as badly as that one does. Okay. Spoilers for that movie. Uh, it doesn't end well. But, um, Thank you for the spoiler on the 20 year old Schwarzenegger movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everyone was worried. I, I, thought, I didn't know that was a movie. I didn't say they didn't know. I said it's a 20 year old movie. If they're being spoiled on it now, that's their own fault. Why are we talking about Schwarzenegger movies? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So there I am. I'm I'm being held by a guy who's like holding onto the wire with one hand himself, and it's just, like just my pant leg. Now this costume, right? This is not like spandex. It's not like it's a little loose, and so it starts to slip. And so I'm like, I, I I'm freaking out because I'm like I'm gonna fall head first, 45, 50 feet here, but. I, I kind of look up at Tim, and he's kind of sweating too. Like he, he's nervous as well. But as when I look back down, I see what they've done is that they have actually taken like part of. I guess they had leftover sheeting from when they put up the tent. They had attached that to three of the elephants, and they had like taken that out so it was as like high up as they could get it. Because I guess if they were just gonna hold it. But, and so, all of a sudden, I just get let go. And I'm falling, and I land in this. And I'm safe, and, like, the crowd goes wild. I assume they thought that was all, like, a part of it. Uh, that's not the case. That was not supposed to happen. But, uh, we sort of, you know, I get backstage, and uh, I noticed that, like, I hadn't felt it at the time because like a bunch of adrenaline and stuff. But I guess when I landed in the sheet, I had landed something where like my wrist it was broken or something. Ow. Yeah. Why? Just the way I landed, I guess. Even falling just into the sheet just kind of crumbles. Hands. Never put your hands behind you when you fall. That's yeah. how you shatter your arms. Always cross them over your chest. This has been Alex's safety tip of the day. I did that one. Alex is <laughs> but so I had to go to like the doctor, which they were not too fond of. But at this point, I'm too scared to be thinking like the circus was not fond of doctors. I mean, they've got their own way of dealing with injuries. Like but I also, said, also there's probably like a, um, some kind of like alert out for you. Well, You're so I just child. forgot that you were missing missing a stolen child. Yes, so of I like begged, and they didn't want to take me to the doctor. But I eventually convinced them, like, look, just like drop me off at uh, the nearest hospital. You don't even have to be a part of this, and just like leave. So they they drive me over there. I walk into this hospital. I'm like, look, I need help here. Um, they get me into. Like X ray is broken, wrist is broken. So they get the cast on. And as they're putting the cast on, the person in the suit, like not a doctor, the person in the suit walks in. And they're like, you know, they start asking me some questions. And uh, it, like it turns out they're from the police, like something in records, I don't know if like they took like fingerprints when I came in or through blood, whatever. I can't even remember fully what they did when I came in. but like something popped up uh, on some system and it's like, hey, this missing person is here. And so, at, like, that's how eventually I did make it back. Uh, I was, like, not allowed out of the house for the next two years. Um, now, were your parents mad at you or did they assume you had been, as we cleaned earlier, circus napped against your will? No, I kind of explained to them exactly what happened. Now, why would you do that? Like, <laughs> you were home free. They weren't going to be mad at you. You made them mad at you for no reason. There was, I mean, I wanted to be back. 
I'm not saying you wouldn't go back. I'm saying don't tell them that you left willingly. It was just, I mean, at that point, it's just... I, I'm letting everything out, you know, it's just like... Because I'm apologizing for them. I, yeah. At this point, I just... I, I want to be back. I needed to be back home where it's safe and not traveling around the country with a bunch of strangers. Have you could have been found in my little tiny bit. No, probably yeah. not. Yeah, I mean, that comes. I, I think of that about that. Probably in the case of your friends, uh, Tony B and Tiger Woods. Yeah. They would never hurt me. They would never. They were the sweetest thing. Yeah. Oh, you're saying they were. They are great? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's the time I ran away and joined the circus. It's a great story. Yeah. All time. I would do the exact same thing as well. Yeah, I'm sure you would. I, I would. But anyway, uh, that's, I guess that's episode one. Yeah. Fantastic first episode. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you want to find more episodes, you can find it basically wherever you find your podcasts. Uh, we also have our website where you can see all the information and all the links to the various sites. That's t6pod.com. The letter T, number six, P-O-D, dot com. Thanks for listening. Any final words before, before we leave, for the fire out? Mm-hmm. Just a warning to 12 year olds uh, listening to this to not go off and join a circus. Look, I, I was glad to be home, but it was fun while it lasted. That's fair. Fair. And also keep in mind Alex is safe to today. Don't, don't put your hands on you when you fall. That's funny as this one. That is a very real tip. <laughs> it hurt. Thanks for listening.